Hey, what's up, everybody? We are in the therapy pool filter room or engine room, what you have to call it. We have emptied the pool now. There's no water in there. You can see how it looks like. Yes, I've got the filters and tubes and pumps, everything. We've got three of these sand filters. There's a circulation pump, carbon filter, the water tank. Here the water is coming into the pool. Here's the chlorine that goes in. Up there with the carbon dioxide. I just drained it. That's why this tube is here. It's supposed to go into that. That's a drain. There's a chlorine. That's aluminium hydroxide chloride. That binds to the organic material. So it's gonna be catched up in the sand and the carbon filter. There's the carbon dioxide. That's a controller for it. That's controlled by the pH meter. Here you can see the level in the tank. And it's emptied, so no water in there. Water softener, salt tank. A circulation pump, VFD, the filter for larger particles. The actual filter is removed. It should be a filter in there. Heat exchanger for heating the water. That pump was going to the BVK. It actually takes the A heat from the hot air. We got uh, a compressor in the fan room. We can go have a look on that. And the air that is blowing out from the swimming pool, it actually takes the heat from that and recovers it and puts it into the swimming water instead. That's a pretty good setup. But actually disconnected at the moment. There's a pipe that goes to VVK. Let's have a look on that. Let's have a look on the heat exchanger. They are going to change that because we got a little problem. Look at that. That's rusted. That's very bad. It's from the district water heating or district heating. That's tube, and that's a bath water, those two lines. So actually we got a problem up here, and it's dripping bath water on that. That's corroded and that's very bad. It's chlorine and everything in that water. So it was because of that this seal wasn't good enough. So this is a very special heat exchanger that can handle is pool water, bath water. It's a BVK pump. This is the filter that's supposed to be in that blue thing. 
so larger particles will be trapped in this one. The circulation pump goes a flow meter. That's a aluminium hydroxide chloride going in. And that goes to these three sand filters. Let's have a look inside of one of these sand filters. The top is removed. Here you can see inside of it. So yes, it's just a lot of sand in there. Interesting. These are some vents on the top. Remove any air and stuff that's left. Don't want, you don't want air in these sand filters. We got another drain here. It's more salt. As a flow meter for the, the car carbon filter. So yes, let's go and have a look on uh, the BVK. So we're gonna go follow the tubes. And this is the water from the pool going back to the water tank. The tubes that goes to that, BVK stuff. Go all the way in here. Water jet. Here they are, and they are going away. That's flow meter for the district heating. Looks very nice up there. That's about the jet. And these are, what are they? LED. Yes, it's stainless. All the pool is made of stainless steel. Also a ventilation tube. more aluminium hydroxide chloride and that's a chlorine and that's sodium hypochlorite that's sand for filters telephone you don't have any connection here it's so much concrete it can't use your mobile phone or cell phone for to call anyone so you need to use that Yes, let's go up to the fan room. Yes, now we are in the fan room on the roof. There's a air that is blown out of the swimming pool area. There are these BVK water coming up. There's the flow meter. Air intake is there. The air is going out this way. There are the tubes again. And in here, I have the camera flashlight on and I turned off the lights so you can see stuff better. 
Look and see what's going on in here. This, we got a lot of stuff. We got a compressor. A huge thing on the back. Some kind of, I think it's an oil expansion tank. Lubrication oil for the compressor. We got some tubes for the gas. That's inside the compressor and in the coils. We got coil on that side and another coil on that side is picking up the thermal energy from the hot air or warm air that's pumped away from the swimming pool area. We got some valves on the top. And that tube there, we have a bit hard to see it. It's a large coil going round and round. Maybe four turns, three, four turns. That's a heat exchanger for the pool water and the compressor gas on the uh, on the condenser side. So that where's the where the gas is actually giving away the energy to the pool water, and that's two evaporator coils then that picks up the thermal energy from the air. So yes, pretty interesting. Less power to heat up the water. That's the tubes. Those are thermometers. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. So I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching.